All right, this video is going to show you how to do calculations in a pivot table. Now, I have uh, other videos that will actually show you how to make your pivot table. But I had a special request, can we do calculations of our own in a pivot table? And the answer is yes. Let's say that we want to get sales tax for each of these columns. All right, so in a pivot table, what you do is you pick on the actual one of the numbers. When you pick on one of those numbers in the pivot table, you have two additional menus up top. You have options and you have design. But you only get those when you click on the pivot table. So I want to pick on the options menu. Now in 2007, it was called formulas right about here. But in 2010 and 2013, it's called fields, items, and sets. So I'm going to click there. And then I'll say calculated field. Then you're going to get this other window. So I'll type in sales tax. You give it a name, whatever name you want to write. Now, it says equal zero for the formula. Well, in my state, unfortunately, there is sales tax, so we'll get rid of the zero. That would be nice if that's the case, but it's really not in my state. So leave the equal sign. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to use the field names to help you build the formula rather than the, um, the actual um, cell references. So in this case, I'm going to double click on the word total. And then, uh, notice when I double clicked on that, that became part of the formula. Now, mathematically, this formula can be just as complicated as you need it to be. Uh, so, actually, I'm going to call this a new sales tax, because it looks like I already have one that's called sales tax from a previous expression. So, I'll just call this a new sales tax. Um, but the more important thing is the formula. I'm going to see equals totals. Now, in uh, where I live in, in Philadelphia, it's actually 8%. So, I'll say 0 0.08. So, it's just like a normal Excel formula except instead of using your cell references, you're using the name of the field. Here I have total. Otherwise, mathematically, it could be just as complicated as any formula. Now it says equals total times 0 0.08. Notice how I have a new column that's called sales tax as a matter, or new sales tax. As a matter of fact, it winds up in my fields here in your list, so you can use that like any other field. Let's try that again. Uh, so, I want to take the total and add it to the sales tax to get to the line total, so I need to do another calculation. I'm going to pick on the options menu. I'll pick on fields, items, and sets. And I'll say calculated field. Remember, in 2007, it would say formulas there instead of fields, items, and sets. So you would click on that and then pick on calculated field. All right, let's call this one new line total. Give it a good name. Get rid of the zero, typically. Leave the equal sign there. For the formula, in this case, I want to take the uh, uh, the total. I just double click on that plus the new sales tax. And again, mathematically, you can make that as complicated as you need to be, but it's going to use the field names rather than the cell references. Otherwise, it's just like a normal Excel formula. I'll click on OK, and notice how I have the sales tax and now the line total. What if I want to change those column headings? The better way to do it is really uh, in your value field settings screen. So in this case, um, there's the new sales tax. I'm going to right click on that or just click on it and then pick on value field settings. And right up here, I'll change it to say sales tax for the custom name. Okay. Or new sales tax. Okay, good. So uh, then we'll give that a better name as well. I'm just going to click in the value field settings, change that to say new line total two, and now that has changed as well. So really, to make your formulas, you're going to pick on the options menu, you pick on fields, items, and sets. Remember, it says formulas in version 2007. Click on calculated field, and then you do your formula on this screen using your field names rather than the actual um, cell references.